first thing to do with the software when initializing a lock, you must enter the lock ID under the resources section. So resources, locks, click the new button. This will bring up the lock resources. Next to lock ID, type in the lock ID that is associated with your lock. In my example, I'm using 22182222. Next, click the save button. Then close. After entering in the lock ID into the system, it's now ready to program your red manager key. So let's snap in our manager key into the key reader. Then we're going to go to management, lock initialize, single. From here, click on select for the lock ID and type in the lock ID you're looking for. 2218222. And as you can see, the filtering system went ahead and found that lock ID for me. Click OK. Then click the Generate Init Code. What this is doing is programming the key with our system information and the lock serial number. After the key has been programmed, the system will tell us that this key is ready to initialize lock ID 22182222. It's a good idea to go ahead and tag this key with that lock serial number because we're going to need to pair that up later once we take the, the key to the lock. Okay, our key is ready to initialize our lock ID, so click OK. Next, we'll need to close out the initialization. Closing out the initialization just tells the database that we are ready to assign this lock to an ATM. So, operations, close lock initialization, manual. We'll then click the select button to browse for our lock ID. So, let's type in our lock ID, 22. One eight. As you can see, it found it. Click OK. Then we're going to kick, click the button that says Close Lock Initialization. And OK. And then the Close button. Next, we need to assign our lock ID to an ATM. So we'll first need to create an ATM, or you could also assign it to an existing ATM. But in our example, we're going to create one. So Resources, ATMs. I'm going to click New, and I'm just going to create some random ATM ID, um, TK, oh, let me capitalize that so it looks better, TK45986. Uh, site name, Bob's Gas, and go. And we're going to assign our lock ID. Go down here to the find, 22182, our system found it again. So we have our ATM ID primary, our site name, our lock ID, the time zone we're in, which defaults to your system time. If it comes out of something different, make sure you select the correct time zone. And also select daylight savings because we do observe daylight savings time. Next, click the save button and close. So now this ATM is ready to generate combinations.